hello you guys it is christina it is monday and welcome to another week i'm just trying to take it a little bit easier this week i don't want to overdo it but i have been weaning out of my neck brace slowly and it feels really good and i am just so pleased with my new posture and my new neck position that being said i really do have no range of motion yeah this is my range of motion right now but that is totally worth it i should actually probably get to bed get back in my brace i have pt tomorrow and i don't want to be too tired for that i gotta remember not to overdo it that i'm trying to rest and i'm trying to heal so i will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning and happy tuesday i am just getting ready now i have PT today. I have to leave in about an hour. Really glad that this pick line is coming out soon because it is getting really, really sluggish. I've had it for nearly a year now, maybe more than that. An infusion that's supposed to take like four hours takes like nine or ten hours, which is really frustrating. It's still flushing and there's still a blood return, but it's just really slow. It's driving me kind of up the wall because I, yeah, I like to run my fluids overnight and I'll wake up and they're still not done. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm having like a really bad nerve pain day. Some days I just like cannot stand the thought or the feeling of air and sun on my skin. Uh, it's just way too painful and... I don't know. I don't know if this is like a common struggle with EDS people or if it's just me. It's like in the 90s today and I'm wearing a t-shirt and long leggings. I feel like I'm going to be really, really hot. But I think I'm going to have to bring like a tank top and shorts today. I'm not too worried about the car ride, but I don't know how hot the gym is going to be. Let us just add another layer of fabric. Why not, right? Who doesn't want to be wearing a fleece jacket in 90 degree weather? Okay, let's go. Hey guys, I am so excited. I have had my eye on this chair for like a year, maybe longer than that. And it was on sale and I had the money and I did it. I spent like all of my savings on a chair and I am totally okay with that. I think I'm going to turn this into my little meditation garden. Ah, isn't this the best thing ever? Oh, this is so cool. Here, Lauren, have it. Happy Wednesday! I am absolutely loving my new little space here. I definitely see it as kind of an investment in my health at this point since the thing that has actually been helping me the most with my pain management, my sleep, and my stress management has been my meditation. I told you guys about the app Headspace and that's basically what I've been doing and it's kind of cool because I finished the first three levels which I guess are kind of the training levels and I'm kind of moving on to a more personalized regimen and they have one for pain management and I really like his approach so far. It's kind of the opposite of what you would think it would be. You would think that it would be trying to train your body to ignore the pain but it's almost like training your body to work with the pain and to use the pain and to acknowledge the pain but to keep going anyway. I really like that approach and I think that's definitely one of the healthiest ways to manage chronic pain is not to ignore it and mask it. In general, pain is something that you're supposed to feel. It's something that is a signal. It's telling you that what you're doing is bad and that you need to stop. But in the case of chronic pain, it's a little bit different. 
where we have pain all the time and our body is always in that state of fight or flight and it's telling us that something's wrong. And so we can so easily get really stressed out and we're losing sleep and we just can't function. For me personally, when I do take painkillers that I can tolerate, it does help with the pain, but it doesn't really address that feeling of like something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. And it leaves me feeling just kind of like anxious and panicky and weird and I don't like that. So I'm definitely really excited to continue on with this and see where that takes me. Like I said, I just started. I've done two sessions so far and there's 30 sessions so I've got a long way to go. Guys, I just got the call. I am officially scheduled to get this pick one taken out on Friday. I am so excited that it's only two more days. I wanted to let you in on kind of a momentous occasion for me. As you guys know, or maybe you don't, maybe you're new around here, I am currently 100% tube fed. So for the last year or so, I have not had anything by mouth. All of my calories have come from this here little feeding tube and from a specialized formula. This is for two reasons. The first reason is because I have something called dysphagia, which basically means I have a hard time swallowing. And when I do manage to swallow something, it doesn't really go down like it would for a normal person. It likes to stay in my throat or somewhere in my chest, in my esophagus, and just get stuck. Obviously, it is not what you want. It's not fun and it's not safe because you could breathe it in. The second reason is because I also have a condition called mast cell activation disorder or mast cell activation syndrome. I could get pretty technical on this one, but basically my body reacts to a lot of different environmental triggers as if I have an allergy to them. And I am one of the lucky ones whose body reacts to pretty much all foods. Even the smell of food has been known to send me into some pretty severe allergic reactions. But since having the tube placed, two things have changed. One, I just recently had surgery on my neck, which will hopefully help my body to heal some of those nerves that were affected that are making it hard for me to swallow. And two, I started on a new medication called Zolaire. Zolaire is a monthly injection that is sometimes used to treat mast cell activation syndrome. They say that it usually takes about three or four months, so three or four doses to really start to kick in and for you to really start to notice a difference. And I am on month four, and I can say that I have actually noticed a huge difference. We used to not even be able to cook in my house. They'd have to cook outside on the grill or put a crock pot in the basement because I would immediately start to react if I smelled anything. But now I can be sitting directly next to someone while they're eating and it's not really a big deal. It doesn't really bother me anymore. So that's telling us that my body has obviously calmed down quite a bit and it might be time to start trying to reintroduce food into my life. So today, for the very first time in over a year, I am going to try to introduce something besides formula and water. After careful deliberation, I chose coconut water. Because my swallowing isn't quite up to par yet, I'm going to first try this through the G-tube. I just want to introduce it to my body, see how I react, see what happens, and hopefully if that goes well, I can try to drink a little bit of it. That's why I chose something so thin. I do drink water, so if my GI system can tolerate it, I think that I could probably swallow it. All right, so here it is. I am going to take the syringe and I'm going to open up the extension on my feeding tube. I'm going to put the syringe in. I'm going to make sure that the extension is unclamped. And here we go. Clamp it. Take out the syringe. And now we wait. Hello again, you guys. I am checking in. It has been three hours since I tried the coconut water and it has gone great. I haven't reacted at all. The only thing I have noticed is a little bit of extra fullness, which totally makes sense. So 
since I am adding extra fluids to my daily routine, obviously I am still running my feeds. And because I really haven't been eating for the last year and a half, my stomach isn't really used to having very much in it at one time. But now it's been three hours and I'm starting to feel like I could do a little bit more. So I am going to do 35 more milliliters, which 35 milliliters really is not very much. But to me and my little stomach, it makes quite a big difference. And so it's going to obviously take me a little bit of time to relearn how to eat, digest. I need to start really slowly like this with very small portions and work my way up. We are about to try to access my port again and hopefully change this pick line dressing for the very last time. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and letting me know that there are a lot of different options when it comes to port needles. I probably wouldn't have even known to ask my supply company if they had any other options. But I did talk to them and they have sent me two other different styles to try out to see if maybe I like these better. And she also said if I don't like any of these styles or if I hear from one of you guys about a style that you really like, that I can just let her know and she can try to order that for me. So, so often I think we're just at the mercy of whatever the supply company decides to send. So it's always cool to know that you do still have some options. I am accessed once again. Thank you guys so much again for the tip about the different needles because this one is so much more low profile and so much less bulky than the one last week was. Just have to be like super careful not to overdo it and mess it up again. We do not want a repeat of last week, especially with this pick coming out tomorrow. I am not going to have any more backup, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm ready. Guess where we are going? That is right. We are going to get this pulled out finally. And don't get me wrong, this pick line has been a huge blessing to me. It's been a total miracle. Ivy saline has been great but it has run its course, it has served its purpose, and I am very, very ready to say goodbye. <laughs> it is out. I am so excited. Two hours in a waiting room, five seconds in a procedure room, <laughs> and it is finally out of here. He said that the reason that they wanted to do it in interventional radiology was because a, I have the port on the same side. B, I'm on blood thinners, and C, it was in for so long. He was expecting that maybe there would be a little bit of resistance when he went to pull it out, just because it's been in for so long. And he said in that case, they would have to do it under x-ray. But I guess one of the upsides of having a connective tissue disorder is how poorly we heal. So I never really healed around the pick line site, and it just slid right out. I honestly didn't even feel it at all, so I have to keep this bandage on until tomorrow, and I am all set. Hey guys, so it is much later now, and I am still enjoying my pig line free arm, and I kind of planned in advance. I wanted to celebrate it a little bit, and I wanted to treat myself, so I ordered some nice artist quality henna cones online just so I had something fun while I was in bed resting. And so I drew it out last night and this is what it came up with. And I looked at it today and I was like, I think that might be a little bit too ambitious for us, Christina. We've never actually used a henna cone before. But I went for it and <laughs> this is how it came out, if you can see. It actually is starting to peel off now. It looked a little bit better earlier. I should have shown you. I tried very hard to get a time-lapse video of it, but it was really difficult to set up anyway, never mind with a camera. I did it from bed with my prism lenses on, and I managed not to smear it on anything that I love, so that is a major win. I really like it because it's just a temporary form of self-expression that I know that I am not allergic to, which is kind of rare for me to find. I can't do hair dyes and nail polishes and stuff like that. So, I'm really pleased with this. Hello guys, it is Saturday today. 
my entire family is off at a grad party so i get the house all to myself and how am i using this freedom i am staying in bed all day the weather these last few days has just been really up and down and the pressure changes are really getting to me so i always get like a certain headache when i know there's a storm coming and my joints ache like an old lady when i tell you i've basically been living on heating pads these last few days i am not exaggerating and then of course i have to have my air conditioning on like super blast so that i don't get overheated so I'm not kidding you, nobody in the house will come in my room because it is that freezing cold. Like, they come in with jackets on and I'm sitting here like in a tank top, <laughs> like in my heat pad cave. I have like this big giant heating pad that I'm lying on and the control switch is over there. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. I have it set to like 120 degrees. Of course I have my trusty hot water bottle. And then what is really getting me through this week, this UU bottle thing that I told you guys about a couple weeks ago. It's literally just this like long and skinny hot water bottle that comes in this really soft case. When I told you guys about them a couple weeks ago, you seemed really interested, but a lot of you said that they were really too expensive for your price point, especially since they were shipping out of the UK, and we heard you. So I've been in contact with the company. They are so incredibly nice, by the way, and they really wanted to set up a promotional code for you guys in case that would help maybe take some of the burden off of the shipping costs. So I will link their website down below, but if you place an order, make sure that when you are checking out, you enter the promo code Christina Loves UU, and that will give you 15% off of your purchase, which is really generous of them. And I really hope you guys can take advantage of that because sometimes it's just these little things that make such a difference. Honestly, with my knees right now, I don't know what I would be doing without this. Oh, I bet soon day I can take the dressing off my pick line site okay you guys want to see hold on let me put the camera on a tripod or something hi <laughs> I'm a little nervous honestly sometimes I feel like when I take these off that it's just going to like spurt blood everywhere and I know it's not but I don't know I think I'm just traumatized from that time that I had an angiogram and then like the seal that they put on ruptured in the post-op and I just like sprayed blood everywhere and it was horrible Okay, moment of truth. Oh, no, never mind. One more time around. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> wow. You can barely see anything. There's literally just a little dot. Mind you, it has been over a year since I've been able to touch this skin, this part of my arm. And it was so itchy for like a whole year. Wow. I can't wait to like exfoliate the heck out of this part of my arm. <laughs> I also just decided that since I'm going to be in bed all day anyway and I have nothing going on tomorrow and since the coconut water through the G-tube went so well the other day, I decided that I'm going to try to sip on some coconut water today. I have not tasted anything besides water in about a year and a half. Nothing. Water and toothpaste. <laughs> so I am really, really excited. I am going to try to take my first sip here on camera. I should have gotten a straw. I don't know how well this is going to go. Cheers. Tastes like coconuts, like salty coconuts. Wow, it tastes really good. I am still having problems with swallowing. It takes a second to go down but I think <laughs> everything's down. I'm gonna try one more sip for now. 
how weird that is it just takes a bit for me to be able to swallow wow that tastes like really amazing to me it's taking a lot of self-control not to just like drink the whole thing but I know that you gotta take it slow especially because <clears throat> I'm not sure it's gone down all the way yet oh there we go <laughs> All right, fingers crossed, and now we wait again. Maybe I should have done this when I wasn't home alone. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes since I took a few sips of the coconut water, and <laughs> I definitely have a lot of burning and tingling in my mouth, but my throat's also feeling kind of gross. It's like burning, and it feels kind of constricted, but it doesn't really feel like the throat swelling I'm used to when I have a serious reaction. It may honestly just be that it hasn't all gone down so that some of it is still in my throat. So it was a yes with the G-tube. And so I assume that means that my body is not really allergic to it and I'm not going to have like a serious reaction. But honestly, these oral symptoms are pretty unpleasant like even right now talking to you I can feel like my tongue is getting like more and more tingly and stuff so and don't worry this is like a very typical reaction for me um I've never had something like this turn into something super serious it's just kind of I gotta wait it out my mouth and throat are very sensitive I don't know if I have some kind of oral allergy issues or whatever, but I'm just going to lump it all into the mast cell stuff. But the good news is that today is Saturday, so in two days, on Monday, I am getting my fifth Zolaire shot. So maybe as I continue my treatment with the Zolaire, I'll start to be able to tolerate more things and maybe I could try it by mouth again in about a month and see how that goes. But until then, I think it's a no on the drinking coconut water. No, not again. Anytime I try to start doing things again, I get blood around the port. Oh, I don't really know what to do. I'm home alone. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to deaccess myself. I'm gonna call my mom and see what I should do. Okay. I got it out. <sighs> that was not easy. I am just really frustrated. Luckily, my family is home now. I just had a little bit of a cry about it with my mom. And I'm just overall feeling like the amount of work that it takes just to like keep my body going is so exhausting I'm just trying so hard to take the best care of my body that I can and I'm just feeling like it wasn't enough and I'm feeling frustrated that once again I messed up the port site I just Oh, I don't know. Just kind of kicking myself that, like, it happened again and that it's my fault. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know what I would have done differently. I, It's not like I'm here doing some kind of yoga or anything like that. I'm just doing the absolute basics of my daily routine. There's a surprising amount of work that goes into keeping me going every single day there are a lot of different components that have to be taken care of for 
for instance. <laughs> there is just a lot to do and some days are harder than other days and today just the act of taking care of my nutrition and filling up hot water bottles and trying to care for my hydration proved to be too much for my body to handle. I'm not naive. I knew to expect a lot of setbacks like this when I decided that I wanted to pour and when I decided that I wanted the pick line out. So I am not really taken by surprise, but at the same time, I'm frustrated. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you take it one step forward and then you take a step backwards, but at least you're moving, right? At least that is what I am choosing to tell myself today. <laughs> I am going to go rest and I am not going to edit this video even though I want to. I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> Good night everybody. Hey guys, it is Sunday. I am re-accessed. No bleeding so far. I'm trying not to move from this position <laughs> until Thursday when I can de-access again. It's just, I'm on a lot of blood thinners and I have EDS so I don't heal well and that combination has not served me very well these last couple weeks. But hey, you know, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm super lucky that the nurse was willing to come out on a Sunday morning and access me. And I just get to spend a nice relaxing day in bed editing and not moving. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this week with me. It's been a pretty up and down week. You guys are always there for me no matter what. And I hope that you know that I'm here for you too. Anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!